Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 16th, and it is cold. <laughs> uh, it was 10 degrees when I woke up this morning. We're now up to a balmy 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And snow is coming. It's winter here in southeastern Pennsylvania, as it should be. So I hope your Sunday is going well. I hope your weekend has been a lot of fun and looking forward to the week ahead. Ah, uh, I, this is take three because the furnace has been a jerk this morning. Uh, it wants to run constantly, so I turned it off. I'm facing the wrath of my dearest, but uh, this near a pipe, I'm going to get this lit because, again, take three. So this is the second bowl of haunted bookshop I've been through. This Nirup actually, I was, it was purchased in Los Angeles at Kramer's shop. Uh, my wife and I were visiting uh, California and we went to Kramer's and she picked this out. She fell in love with that accent uh, on the shank. And it's, uh, yeah, I was not certain about it to be honest, but uh, I love the play. I really do love it. And, you know, of course, it's partly because she gave it to me. So thank you, my dear. Beautiful Zippo lighter, kind gift of my buddy Michael Case. Um, Michael gave me two lighters, actually, uh, one of which needs a little bit of work, and I wanted to do a lighter side video about it. I've got a whole drawer over there of lighters, probably about 20 lighters that I want to do videos on, uh, repairing them, talking about the history, so on. And uh, I just haven't had the time. so. That kind of ties into what I want to talk about today. I think I'm going to have the time to at least uh, get a video put together on that lighter that Michael sent to me. Finally. So why is that? Well, I want to start off by saying that I appreciate and, and my heart goes out to a lot of folks out there that are going through a lot of bad times right now. I don't know why, but for some reason this just seems like, seems like everybody's got troubles. And I've got troubles, but my troubles are so minimal that I feel bad talking about them. Um, I'm great. I'm, everything is good for me. I'm healthy. I'm happy. Uh, got a great job, a wonderful wife. Everything's good. And, uh, but right now, life is kind of turned upside down for a couple of reasons. And I am, if you watch me for any time, length of time, you probably know this, I'm a creature of habit. Um, if you watch my videos on Sundays, you'll almost always see this mug, because this is the mug I use on Sunday. See it clock off. I like to, during the week, I pretty much have the same thing for breakfast every day. I pretty much have the same thing for lunch every day. It's just the way I am. That makes me happy. So, I am going to be, on Thursday, uh, getting a very minor surgical procedure done. It's really, it's really, I almost don't want to mention it, but it, it is, it, it's important because of what happens after it. So I'm getting, it's an umbilical hernia. It's, it's, I've needed this repaired for years, uh, probably 15 years. Uh, so it's been, it's been there a long time. It's annoying. It's sometimes painful, but it's not, you know, a life threatening problem or anything. And they're going to fix it with robots and lasers and beepers. I don't know what they're doing, but apparently there's going to be a couple of very small incisions and I'll be, I'll be fine after that. The reason I waited 15 years is that the doctors always said, well, you know, we can fix this now, but it would be good if you lost weight first. So I've lost weight, so I can, <laughs> I can get it fixed now. So I'm really happy about that. Um, the problem is that that's going to... It's going to put me out of commission for a bit. So uh, there's going to be at least a week where I can't lift anything. Um, it's going to be very annoying. And then they said it's going to be about six weeks before I'm like 
I can just ignore it and do whatever I want to do. And my wife is very protective and, you know, that's wonderful. I appreciate her. So, you know, she's saying, yeah, you're not going down to that basement and everything. So I, I'm probably going to be out of commission for six weeks. So if you're waiting for me to do something, you got to add six weeks to the timeline now. And that's unfortunate. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on down here that, that I haven't talked about that has to stop for six weeks. So that's unfortunate. But I'm hoping that I can take advantage of that time to work on some lighters because that's, you know, light stuff. I don't have to lift anything. I don't have to really do any big motions or anything. So maybe I can get those videos done. And that is kind of what I'm trying to get at here. When life becomes chaotic, and it does, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. I had a boss uh, mentor years ago who used to like to say, there is opportunity in chaos. And this is true. This is, I, I, when he first said it, I thought, what's he talking about? And, and, you know, over the years, I've come to really appreciate it. I'd also really appreciate it if I could keep my darn pipe lit today. So at work right now, we're starting a new year, obviously. And, you know, we're reassessing priorities. And there's a lot of projects that are not going to continue. That's the way my work goes. And last week I had to talk to several people and say, you know, we're, we're going to shut that down. We're, we're going to move to something different. And so well, what am I going to do? And the answer right now is I don't know. You know, we're going to figure that out. But I kept quoting this guy saying, but don't worry, there's opportunity in chaos. Uh, it feels right now like there's nothing, you know, there's nothing to guide you. There's no nothing to grab onto, but that's an opportunity. Find something new, find something different, find a different angle on things and, and, and go with it. The other thing that's happening here is that we have on Tuesday, we have the folks coming in to uh, service our furnace. It's an annual thing. They, you know, check it out, make sure it's not going to explode or you know pump out carbon monoxide while I'm in the middle of a live stream or something good like that. So that has to happen and uh, the problem is that as I've been doing other stuff in the shop trying to get stuff organized and all that the furnace has become pretty inaccessible and it's right here. You know it's it's I can almost reach it if I stretch my arm out. So I got to get a lot of stuff moved and you know get ready for them to come in and, and do this work. It's not it's not terrible but it's going to it's going to mess things up down here. And of course, Thursday, I won't, after Thursday, I will not be able to do anything down here. So if I don't get things back in place, <laughs> it's going to screw things up even more. Um, and that brings me to Friday. So there's a Friday live stream. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, uh, this is what I ended in my last Friday live stream with. There might be a show next week. I don't know, uh, this week, this coming Friday, I, I, I'm about 80% sure there's not going to be, but if I wind up, you know, waking up on Friday and everything is great, I figure why not, you know, I, I can do it. If I can just sit in a chair and do a live stream, I'll do it. Uh, it'll be fun. It'll give me something to do, but it might not happen. So I'll put up a post one way or the other. You're able to see the announcement for the live stream or you'll see a post saying no live stream time. So, sorry about that. I just don't know. And, you know, I probably just shouldn't do it. But knowing me, I'm going to be bored, senseless, and I'm going to want to do something. So, there might be. But, of course, I don't want to do anything to mess this up because, you know, in six weeks, I'll be normal. So, that's more chaos. You know, it's, it's 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 chaos down here right now. You you see the corner that's that's in pretty good condition. The rest of this is just stuff. So I spent some time yesterday starting to organize stuff, and I realized, um, well, this isn't really so bad because it's an opportunity to get things 
in order to actually sort through some things that I've been wanting to do for a long time to get uh, these bins that I've talked about before I've put all my hobby stuff in bins so I got fly tying bins I've got woodwork well not woodworking I got luthery bins rod building bins electronic bins you know all the things that I like to do and sometimes don't do for long periods of time it's all binned up and I'm putting them all where they're gonna live eventually I'm gonna build a sort of bench that has slots in it for these bins and the top of that bench will be tool storage so this is good so this is a good thing there's opportunity in this cast and uh, we'll get there it's, it's gonna take some time but we'll get there so that's uh, that's kinda of what's been going on and why things are kinda of turned upside down right now the main point I want to make is that I'm sorry to keep saying it but it's one of my favorite quotes these days there is opportunity in chaos so when your life is turned upside down and maybe turned upside down by something much worse than what I'm going through you know maybe you lost your job maybe you lost a loved one um, so many things I could, I could list It's bad. You got to take the time to understand that situation, to to go through a grieving process, all, all those sorts of things. But once you get past that, you take a step back and you say, "Okay, what am I going to do now?" And that's where the opportunity lies. Um, one of my favorite stories is uh, from uh, Carl Jung. For those that don't know, Jung was a student of Freud, a psychologist, and very influential psychologist. And Jung, uh, the story is that Jung was walking one day, and he met a butcher, pretty certain it was a butcher, that he knew. And he said, you know, hello, how are you? And it's uh, just terrible. Just absolutely terrible. I lost my job today. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I've been a butcher for six years. Now I, I don't have, I've made up the six years, but I don't have a job anymore. I've got a family to support, and I just don't know what I'm going to do. And Carl Jung looked at him and he said, Congratulations, now your life can begin. And there's a lot of wisdom there. It doesn't mean that it's not a bad thing, but it means there's opportunity on the other side of it. All right, I think I've I've driven that nail firmly into the ground. So, hope you enjoyed that chat. I've got to wrap this up so I can turn the furnace back on and my wife doesn't kill me. Um, which is, of course, a good thing. So... With that, folks, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get back to organizing and, and getting things ready for the furnace folk. I hope you have a great Sunday and a great week ahead. I might see you on Friday. I might not. Maybe I'll do something on Wednesday. We'll see. But until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Take care now.